Hello, good morning, Azamis. Good morning, Misamis Occidental. Welcome to another live webcast of Monday Matters with me. And shout out to all my colleagues here in Math and Science Department in La Salle University, Azami City. Hi to Mom Jaw Engineer Joseph and Lumusad. Ma'am Merlinda Dagumo, Ma'am Maria Cristina Lialder, Sir Ernie Capuno, and Sir Rodney Desina. Shout out to all of you. And thank you so much for tuning in for Monday Matters with me. So allow me to share this live video on my wall first to invite the others to join us. And if you're tuning in, kindly give me a thumbs up, a heart, or a like for our very interesting discussion this morning. Okay, let me check if we are live. Okay, here we are. Kindly give us a thumbs up, a heart, and share this live video. Like and share this live video for your friends to also join us this morning. Good morning to our DTI family, to our Goni Gosho family, as well as the Gosho Center family. Hello there, everybody. Okay, so what is this all about again? What is this all right? Okay, so allow me to introduce myself again to you. I am Engineer Mary Rosalie P. Alandesca, a full-time faculty of La Salle University teaching physics and chemistry. At the same time, I have my business, which is the Ficino Fragrances and Soap Works, Ficino Balloons and Party Needs, as well as Ficino Travel and Tours. And since I'm doing a lot of things, I have, I do have my website. Oh, I'm sorry. I do have my website. It's www.theothersideofme.com. You may visit my website anytime, especially for, especially for destinations here in the Samis Occidental since we are still under community quarantine. Okay, now, uh, since I have my business, uh, I am very privileged to be chosen as one of the local coaches for the free business coaching and mentoring of DTI and the Goshi Center in Samis Occidental. With that, we had one-on-one -on -one consultation with business startups in the Goshi Center. We also have our Negosyo Servicio sa Barangay. Nga nag-adto at tumig mga barangay o nagpig-istorya mi sa mga nanay, sa mga barangay na gusto magsugod o negosyo. And with this, I was also privileged to be one of the local coaches for the DTI Go Negosyo Mentored Me on Deals. This was last year in Cagayan de Oro City at Centrio. And thank you so much to Go Negosyo for making me part of this. And this is now our new lineup for the business coaches in the Sam's Occidental, Coach Johan Dagandara, Coach Alton Perez, Coach Daryl Famashon Kinko, Coach Rio Dibaras, Coach Julius, Coach Eli Abasolo, Real Service Madang Bayan. Okay, so we had started this in order for us to reach out to our micro, small, and medium enterprises last June, where in this talk about how to bounce back with our business, how to be visible online, how to create effective photos and catchy captions on social media, how to monetize your blog or vlog 
product development and co-steam with Shella Cervantes of Sinina, product development and co-steam for cakes and pastries with Oyos Mendoza of Purple Yum, labeling and branding with Rio de Barras, franchising with Gina Marasigan of Santina's Pizza, and last Monday, we had talked about how to register our business with Zeni Lanzado of the Hermanas New York Style Pizza in Tangub City. And today, we are going to talk about how to apply for FBA certification and how to get a license to operate. So, you prepare your pen and paper with you. This is our house rule. And we're going to have our giveaway later. I'm going to give one goat's milk and olive oil so for those who can answer the question later on okay so allow me to introduce my very special guest for this morning another featured guest a kapatid in kmme our guest for this morning is a graduate of mass communication from the university of the philippines he is a licensed professional teacher an events host and singer, and a voice talent as well. He is the branding and operations manager of Delta Business Ventures, the makers of Aloran Cookies Supreme. Let me introduce to you, Sir Paolo Django. Okay, let me add Sir Paolo to the stream. Hi, Sir Paolo. Good morning. How are you doing this morning, Sir Paolo? Thank you very much for inviting me over today. I'm good. I'm great. Thank you. How about you? Okay, so how is the experience when we had our live discussion with Autopub Philippines? Oh. Uh, it was, it was actually more of uh, a different kind of experience where we get to know uh, hand in hand, one on one, uh, mm -hmm. talk about uh, what things that has to be done in order to achieve yeah. uh, some things. Now, wala pa nato ma achieve in our our business ventures. Okay. So now, that is pandemic and seems like, you know, uh, there are a lot of things that we have to adjust on uh, in order to say it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this morning, Sir Paul, we are going to discuss about FDA certification. Since the Risa Misamis Occidental is ang Delta Business Ventures na FDA approved na and have the license to operate. So can we share that to our audience who want their product to be in the big grocery stores? Kay isa jud sa requirement para makabutang ta sa atong product, makadisplay ta sa atong product sa mga malls is FDA. Okay? As well as in the pharmacies kung non-food ang mga product din hang like FDA. Sama nako ang ako ang mga citronella mosquito repellent dili pa maadto sa mga pharmacy kay wala pa koy FDA. So, uh, can, can you share with us the do's and don'ts on how to get that FDA certification? Okay, sir Bob. All right, let's do it. Take away. <laughs> the floor is yours now. All right, so um, our topic today, um, our dear viewers, uh, 
Okay, murag nawala si Sir Paul sa ang ato ang kuad karon no. Medyo hina ang internet connection. So, we will get back to you as soon as we can. Okay? So, just bear with us. All right, hello everybody. Welcome back again. Uh, so sorry about the connection. It's very intermittent. So uh, I'll be going back again to our discussion earlier, which is about getting your FDA license to operate. I hope we have this uh, connection get better pretty soon. All right, so as I have mentioned a while ago, 
uh, we will be talking about the practical things. We will be discussing about the, the practical side of getting our FDA license. I'm not going to talk so much about the technicalities and getting it, but we will still uh, go through with that discussion later on. All right, so <laughs> So our topic uh, this morning will have to focus on the five uh, factors that I think have been really, really helpful in allowing us to get and have our FDA license approved. So today, we'll be talking about these five things, which is to know the target, to visualize, to construct, to furnish, and to apply. So what are these things? Okay, so first we'll be the target. Before we enter into applying for the FDA license, first and foremost, we should take into consideration what we want to balance our products. Why? Why is this very important? It's because if the the, the purpose why we need to to know uh, who we are selling this because we have to identify. Hello. We have to identify who we are selling, which market we are selling. Please bear with me. Uh, our internet connection is really quite, quite bad in this area. Okay, so who are we selling to? Are we selling to only one person? Are we selling to uh, a group of people? Who are we selling our products to? Uh, are we selling our, say, for example, engineers' products? Uh, so, are we selling it to uh, children ages or aging uh, 5 to 13 years old? How many people are we targeting? Is this part? So, our next topic, Agad Agad. This is really swiped through, which is visualization. What getting an essential part of our next step in getting an FDA license, which is to visualize, is because if we know, uh, say, the bulk of, of uh, customers that we'll have to serve and we'll have to sell our products to, we will have to identify already what kind of commissary na gusto nato himoon. So, in this time, once you know your target, you have to already visualize what type of, uh, what do you call this, building you would like to have. Is it going to be an L type? Is it going to be a U type? Or is it going to be a Z type? You have to choose your own style. So, you might be wondering, what is U, L, U, and Z? When we apply for FDA license, we have to make sure that no matter how big or no matter how small the area, the working area or the production area is, we must take note that there will be as much as possible no cross-contamination. 
this is the reason that the FDA is checking personally your commissary before approving it and giving you the solution. Because cross contamination is commonly done sa mga dili FDA uh, approved ng mga commissary. Let's say we have our uh, bakeries. No? We have our local bakeries here. Dili man sa unsa, pero we can we, we, we really know unsa i sa ilahang uh, pagluto. No? Uh, let's say, for example, uh, in this area right here, that's where they get their raw materials. And then after they go to the other side, para mag mix. But then again, na asay nalimtan nga uh, butang, gikan dito sa first phase, balikan na sa dia. So, if imbis na limpyo na unta siya from pag mobalik na sa siya sa iyahang big area. We are keeping ourselves away from contamination in order to uh, make a quality product. Because FDA uh, would like to uh, really encourage everybody na i-uphold good ang quality products. No? So by this time, once you get and have chosen your style, we will be proceeding next to our construction. All right. So once you guys have uh, already, what do you call this, decided kung mag elba mo, mag yuba, or mag z, as long as there is no uh, cross contamination, ayo sa moderate og construct sa inyong building. Because this part right here is the most, the most expensive part, and of course also the most tacky part. Okay, once mag construct ng imong building, there's no time to change it. Okay, pag change ka, your production will be disturbed. So my suggestion, according to our experience, you first should scout locations. So I'm very thankful uh, with DTI and of course DOST for uh, giving us a chance to go to different locations that have already been approved and have their license from the FDA. Okay, let's wait for a while for Sir Paulo to reconnect again. The internet internet connection is really slow in their area. He is live all the way straight from Aluran, Nisamis Occidental. Okay, so if you are live, Okay, Sir Paolo is back. Alright. So, medyo hina kayo ang connection, no? Engineer, are you there? Okay. So, go on with the discussion, Sir Paolo. Okay, so nihanglan ta maka certify sa FDA because it is really a requirement. Okay. Okay na Sir Paul. Okay, uh, before I continue, engineer, medyo hina gid connection now. Uh, asa ta nga part na hunong? 
uh, construct the, the location na da yon, consult the experts on how we're going ah, okay, to okay. our location. All right, all right. Well, we shall continue. Please stay. <laughs> okay, Ra. Okay, Please stay, Ra. Ra. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, uh, as I have mentioned earlier, the kinahangla na to mag-scout og location in order for us to have the idea of unsa gyud nga klase sa building or commissary ang ato ang gusto ma ma ana. -a. So, again, as I have mentioned, I would like and I'm very thankful to uh, DTI and uh, DOSC for partnering and uh, getting us exposed to uh, different kinds of commissaries that have already been approved by uh, the uh, FDA. So one of which is ang katong sa Baliangaw, nga nagproduce at sila og kanang fish nga naasa bottles. Uh, next would be Lola Luz in Jimenez. Uh, we, have, we have been introduced there. And then another thing would be in Ozami City. I think that was Tesda. So I'm also thankful with uh, Van Depp for showing us, uh, touring us around their facility in Cagayan de Oro. Uh, so we have the idea of what kind of... Uh, so with this, Sir Pao, kung naan ay FDA certification, maski ahan na muabot ang mga produkto. ba? So kinihanglan yun, Sir Pao, ang facility is lahi yun siya. Naagay kaugaling ng facility ang production. That is also one of the requirements. Okay, so Murad, ko anjigayo ang connection ni Sir Paolo Caron. So let us see what we can do in order for us to continue with our discussion this morning. So kindly bear with us. Exactly. Okay, so padayon ta sa ato ang slide, Sir Paolo. All right. So at this time, after the scout location, we have to consult the experts. As I have mentioned a while ago, this involves money mm -hmm. <laughs> already, but okay. only halfway. Okay. If you have friends who are experts, who are friends who are architects, who are friends who are engineers, you, know, mm -hmm. uh, you can consult them if they have any experience sa paghimo or facility that has already been approved by the FDA. You ask them, you tell them, uh, this is what you need. Gusto ko ingon ani ako ang raw materials area. Gusto ko nga before we enter na ako'y hunawanan, which is very important for a commissary. Uh, 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 in ani kadako aking able to work on. So, uh this part is very crucial i should say okay it starts it all starts in planning mga good engineer so kung di ari sa misamis occidental sir pao na ana po yung mga group of experts na pwede kaduulan para maka pangayo og tabang sa pag-apply for FDA. Okay, Sir Paul. Okay, so ito alang sang hula ton si Sir Paul Kajot. Mag-reconnect na po doon balik. So after consulting the 
speaking in the commissary. Kung makaistorya mo sa owner, then do so. Uh, them, kung uh, ngayon buhaton, unsay hang, unsay dili kinahanglan. Okay. Okay, we're talking about expenses here. Mm -mm. So we're not just plainly talking about getting a certificate, right? So we are actually talking about a lot of money, a lot of effort, and everything. So, let's say, for example, uh, if you want to create your commissary, you can ask me personally. You can uh, contact me and uh, let's discuss. Maybe we could give you advices. But we, we mm -hmm. cannot do it here online. Okay, medyo hina internet. Mm-mm. Sige, sir. So, yeah. And then, aside from that, we have to borrow from the eager. Mm -mm. Aside from the fact that we have... Okay, so kinihang lang juda mag consult sa mga friends nato nga nakaagi na kung saan nila pag-apply sa FBA. So, Sir Paulo, pwede na na siya ma-message through FB. It's just Paulo Django on FB. Okay, Sir Paul. Yes. So, uh, aside from that, uh, uh, as I have mentioned a while ago, that apart from borrowing the ideas from people who have already be, uh, who have already had experience, we also have to take note that since we're talking about uh, expenses in the construction uh, topic, we also have to see to it who are willing to lend us money, right? Because. Unless you have the money, unless you have uh, like millions of pesos, no? Kung let's say, gunahan ka kaugnap because your your target market is the whole Philippines and need to uh, construct a bigger commissary, then you need... Millions for that. So how about sa mga micro ang pagpa-certify sa FDA? So the problem with with this is if you don't, what's in your opening lang ba? Anyway, uh -uh. Which is I believe le like less li less likely. So as I have a while ago, again I will, I will reiterate that you should consult also not just from the construction experts but also from the financial advisors. Mm -mm. Para magayahan ka o asa ako. Okay, so aside from the location, Sir Pao, unsa pa ang lain nga requirements para sa ato ang pagpa-approve sa ato ang produkto sa FDA? Unsa pa ang lain requirements aside from our commissary? Okay, I'm sorry.
Okay, sir. I-enumerate na lang nato ang ang uban pang requirements siguro, sir. How about sa mga nutritional facts, sir? Requirement po siya na Okay, so uh, regarding, regarding, that, regarding that question, uh, that is another step. Lahi man good ang ang uh, saklaw sa uh, what do you call this? Uh, nutritional mm -hmm. tax. The FDA that has nothing to do. Your nutritional tax has okay. nothing to do with your commission fee. So that is another oh. another step. Yeah. I see. So when we talk about nutritional facts, mm -hmm. it only tackles about your products themselves. And of course, the CPR or the Certificate of Product Registration, which is duly need, apart from the license to operate, also needed at the mga maka-enter ka sa malls. So kung naan na sila, komisari, naan na separate na building for the production surpaw, daghan man pud na silang buhaton around the building mga SOP di ba so how about the paperwork makaya ra sa mga ato ang mga pariha nako na dili pa kaayo ko kabaloan sa mga paperwork makaya ra na mo uh, actually i will be discussing that later on on this uh, uh, after mm -hmm. our uh, uh, after this presentation. So I'll just I'll just keep on going and I'll just read my presentation. Okay, okay perfect. So after after that, the first one, so construction part, now we have to start the location, consult the experts, learn from the experience. We have to also borrow money and lastly manage your finances. So you have to learn all those five factors. So we shall now proceed to the beautification, no? Uh, pag furnish sa ato ang uh, commissary because it's just like any other edifice you have to furnish your uh, building you have to beautify it imo siyang pagwapahan dili ingon nga tsada ka ayo pintal and everything you have to beautify what's inside you have to make it clean sa amo ang uh, uh, commissary ang style is kinahanglan what less ang chances nga mopilit ang abog so we are making use of uh, this specific type of paint nga dili mo pilit ang abog and also kanang sa mga edges bitaw uh, like sa kanang edge nga nagsumpay sa floor o sa wall dapat dili siya in ani dapat naka curve siya so that it's easier for us to clean it up next aside from beautification is you have to accessorize accessorize in terms of the things that you make use on your, in your commissary. Like say, for example, sa amo ang aside, we are in the food industry. So we accessorize our commissary with the ovens, with uh, our cookie depositing machine, with our uh, stainless tables, stainless racks, and all other stuff that you think are needed in your production. So if in any case, sa amo ang aside engineer, you are having your soap. So uh, you should accessorize your commissary in terms of your needs. So, in uh, getting those kinds of uh, machineries. Next is to clean. You don't just beautify and accessorize your commissary. You have to clean it, especially 
pag padulong na gyud ang <laughs> mo uh, what do you call it mo check coming from the FDA why because you have to dress to impress just like when you go to the party you have to look good in order to impress other people and lastly you do not just dress to impress today you have to dress They say your commissary clean it. Can you that our fix were visualize? Uh, you have to have a, an open idea what type of commissary there okay so any additional information for our viewers First, this morning, let us wrap up na lang. Okay, so uh, isend na lang sa ako uh, ang na-prepare siguro nga presentation, Sir Pao, and we will just post it on the page para mabasa na lang sa atong mga viewers later. And if they have their questions, clarifications, we are open for for that pod na ato akong maansiran ang ilang mga queries after taking up on the first four steps this mm -hmm. is the most crucial one why i'm putting this last because when you apply for fda lto once you send it and go and visit to their website ilang mga nang tanawon tayo they're going to read it right away and most likely week after next they will visit your commissary so if you apply and visit their website, the e-portal, and then wala pa kay commissary, most likely, it will not be approved. So, that's the reason why, uh, that, that's the reason ako ang ipauwahing ang application. Because you have to undergo the first in FDA licensing. Uh, uh, I'm taking this presentation from Dayanan Business Consultancy. They have a guide here. So, we just have to go to eportal.fda.gov.ph, okay? And then explains it explains there why we need to have an LTO. So how to apply for LTO? First is, can you e-portal mga sa FDA? Mura Facebook. So you have to create your own, own account. So how to create your own account, you can just read it here. So for F the circular number. Twenty sixteen. In zero zero before the application, this will desk
So first in the body, you have to include your email address, preferably your personal or company email address, and then the name of the authorized company representative, the one who will do the paperwork and everything for the application. Next is what is his or her position in the company, contact number, and finally the company name. Don't forget to attach a scanned authorization letter in, in PDF format and be sure to complete it and have it virus free. So after that, you will have to wait for the LTO personnel to find your email and uh, respond you with your account. So after that, medyo mo take na siya og time. You may look already into the license to operate requirements. So I will be giving this presentation, this PDF file to uh, engineer para makita sa tanan on Facebook. But here are the initial requirements in accomplishing or applying your for your FDA LTO. First is to complete application form with declaration and undertaking. We can find the following uh, documents in their website. Also, you have to have the proof of business name registration and then the risk management plan. Risk management plan, Aninia, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are talking here about uh, your commissary. Unsa imo plano if na isunog, unsa imo ang plano if na ibaha, no, unsa imo ang plano if na ay bagyo. So, uh, sa mo ang case, mura, amo ang mani siyang illustrate like we, we draw, no, something. And then we, we illustrated the different uh, man uh, risk management plans. And then site master file and fees payment. That's it. And then you will have to email those following requirements, initial requirements, and then you will have to wait na lang sa further nga instruction. So what I would suggest is... Uh, Dili man problema ang pagkontak sa mga tao sa FDA. No, they will always be there to assist us, especially despite this pandemic. No, kay actually, ang pag-apply na mo sa mo ang certificate for product registration is just very swift. No, dali rajad ka ayo. So, uh, I will just, for those who would like to contact me, kay medyo hinay gi kayo ato internet karon. No, and we're not able to discuss the tidbits of how to applying for your FDA LTO. Uh, I will be giving engineer my email address so you can contact me directly. Okay. Yeah. So we could okay, sir, uh, talk no? eye to eye Salamat. hand in hand. Okay, so Sir Paul, let us talk about your business also. So, Kung so unsa ang inyo ang mga gina-offer sa Delta Business Ventures. Okay, Sir Pao. Unsa ang mga products sa Delta Business Ventures? I'm sorry, Engineer. Can you repeat that? Uh, can you tell us something about the products of Delta Business Ventures? I'm sorry, Choppy. One last time, please. Your product. Ah, okay. So I'll, I'll discuss about our product. Okay. Yes, sir. So our flagship product, ladies and gentlemen, is the Aloran Heritage Cookies. You know? So why we chose this product is because Aloran is known, especially for fiesta, no, daga cookies, daga torta, daga ibos. You know? uh, mm -hmm. But we decided to venture into cookies is because mas taas ang yang lifespan compared sa torta o sa ibos. And then mas dali siya ma, uh, ma distribute, no? So uh, for the certificate of product registration and for the nutritional facts, what we'll do is different magud ang iyahang cases. So when we talk about nutritional facts, uh, mag submit ta dito sa DOST o sample, no? Uh, they will have to study the nutritional uh, values sa anang sa mga kuan sa ato ang product, and then they will give to us. The results afterwards, mga two months. Ah, uh, uh -oh. I see. 
So aside from the supreme cookies or cookies supreme that you have to follow, unsa pa ang like products karon ang ginadugay mo? Okay, so um we have also browas. No? We also have browas. Uh mm-hmm. pero medyo limited ang browas na hulog siya ng order basis. So would say limited ka ayo ang kuan ang iyang raw materials, especially karon sa mm-hmm. pandemic. And then next is na abot tay Godina Brownie Mania, which is a brand under the Pansalubong Factory, no, which is ato ang tindahan. And uh, we also have future flavors sa ato ang cookie. So it's not just the plain butter cookies we'll be introducing in the market soon. So do you bake mga pod sir Paul, di ba? Actually, engineer, uh, uh, ako yun na gusto nga kuha on back when I was in high school was culinary arts, but then I wasn't able to uh, get the course. Okay, wala ka abot ang ako ang GWA sa UP Baguio manggut ang UP Baguio manggut ang culinary. So, uh, ako inspiration nga nung gusto kayo magloto kung magbake. So Uh-oh. I asked my parents, "Yeah, what's going to happen in your retirement, diba? So why not create this uh, into a business?" So I helped them. No, ako ang magmanage sa kisa magluto, check them all out, and then create new brands and products. Wow! So ahan ni mo na inherit their power ang imo ang pagkaganado ka ayu magli magluto. Ah. Uh, Siguro ako personally no hinga on kay mga tao kay <laughs> before man god when i was still young ang ako ana na iya everywhere no so mamaligya bi sa una o mm-hmm. peanut butter maligya bi sa una o coffee binuko daghan ka ayo mga kutsinta uh, and then oo ako may iyahang ibala para mahalinan dia so iya ko pakanta ko niya ko ipa forward para ah. mahalinan siya sa mga customers you know so Oo. na 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 retain na ko na siya sa akong memory pag about na ako elementary magdala ko mga leche plan sa classroom uh, kana na ay banana queue ako ibalik yas sa akong classmates sa akong mga teachers so marag, nadala na ako sa pagdako ganahan ko muluto ganahan na lasat ko mamaligya <laughs> so dira gyud ta halos nagsugod ta nang sa Paulo sa pagkabata pa na intindahan sa ato ang parents or, or sa ato mga auntie or uncle magsugod og baligya baligya. So sa Paul from humble beginnings to aha na karon na abot sa Aloran Heritage Cookie from you unsa ang imo ang ma advice sa ato mga viewers na gasugod karon og birthday especially at tong quarantine na maupay pagsugod nilang bake bake o gusto nila i-negotiyo ang ilaang mga hindi pa din mo. Kung sa itong mga history. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about FDA licensing, Mano. Uh, it's still a long way to go. Uh, usahay mong good, mag-una ito muna ako na masintap at rakaayo. Just don't forget, know what you want. No? Uh, it doesn't matter kung karong adlaw gusto ka maghimo og butchi ug ma gusto ka maghimo brownie so not adlaw gusto ka magluto og uh, sutal at least you experience unsa gyud imong gusto buhaton kay makita mo gyud mo it's all about experimentation makita nimo kung unsay halinon unsay uh, mo work well nimo nga imo ang buhaton and especially during this pandemic we're talking about online and free delivery <laughs> so Ang ako ang ginabuhat is since wala mang ko kaayo lingaw the past days kay medyo mingaw man ang hosting career. So, uh, what I do is I I bake, I personally bake the brownies and then I call out my employees para na pud sila mahimo. And then uh, I deliver them myself, my myself rather. So, in ana lang, ayo lang mo kawadi paglaom, just experiment, just do it patilaw sa no at first pagansi sa lang gyud ta no para mahibaw-an na to og asa tadapit manukat so that's my only advice yeah so part yun ng inanok kay Paul mo nga na adyo mga samples sa ipang hata yes. para yes. word of mouth na dayon spread na dayon and nakatilaw dyo po sa, sa brownie si Sir Paul kung tiging lang yun uh, so where can they <laughs> order the brownie Sir Paul Thank you. How can they you. order from you? 
Actually, we're be, we'll be introducing other flavors of Sunset Brownies siguro next week as soon as our raw materials gets in. Okay, uso naman kayo ng mga Revel Bars pero so I'll try Revel Bars. Uh, blueberry, strawberries. Salami, Anna. We will watch out for that. So, diri sa Osami Sir Pao, aha na mo makita ang imo ang mga products. Diri sa Osamis. Ha, okay. So, I am very sad to uh, let you guys know that we actually have closed our branch no, sa Pansalubong Factory <laughs> because of the pandemic. So, uh, right now, no, I'm still looking for resellers, but you can always just message, I'm just a message away on Facebook. Kung kisa gusto mo orders, kay usually every week mo ko nagaad to Ugozamis to do the uh, delivery. So, wala rajad kay problema. So with that, Sir Paul, do you have your FB page where they can message you or your Instagram yes. account? Yes. So our uh, Facebook page for our cookies is Aloran Heritage Cookies. And then for our store, uh, we have the Fun Salubong Factory. It's like Pasalubong pero fun. So it's like fun plus Pasalubong. So the Fun Salubong Factory. So where are you located in Aloran? Uh, we're the located Pansalubo at the Forum Quest National Highway in Lawaan, Barangay Lawaan. So it is just along the highway. So yes, if yes. we are going to Oroqueta, right? Oroqueta, maagi man ang Aloran sa Padulong Oroqueta, Sir Pauno? Yes, Engineer. So Bali, going to Oroqueta is right side. Right? Yes, correct. Uh-oh. -oh. Malabian lang yun kayo siya. So, if you guys are going around the Samis Occidental, you drop by Fansalubong Factory at Aloran. Along the highway lang yun siya. Right side is coming from Azamis. O kung di kang punta sa Aroqueta na, punta sa left side. Okay, so... Thank you, Pa. I love your experience in FDA application. Thank you so much and pasensya na kaayo sa disturbo pero nga may sure kung ano na internet connection. Yeah, no problem. My pleasure. Actually, ako ang dapat makonsensya kay medyo hinay kay ang connection sa ako ang end, no? But I'd like to take this chance also to thank the uh, LGU Aloran, you know, uh, especially the SB for allowing me to <laughs> use this Okay, Sir Paul, so any last words to our viewers? Okay, my joke. I get you know I'm connection is Sir Paul. So thank you very much, Sir Paulo Django of Delta Business Ventures, the makers of the Aluran Heritage Cookie Supreme. So uh, ato na punta sa atong question and answer portion okay, sa atong pa-contest for this morning. So let me share to you my screen again. All right. So are there questions so far from our audience? So again... Uh, I will be posting the requirements and the how-tos from Sir Paulo's presentation. Okay, since medyo hina ay ang connection kagali na. So, mag-post lang ko and you may message Paulo Django on FD if you have queries. You can also message me and I will relay that to him. Okay, so let us have our pledge for this morning again. During this pandemic, season of pandemic, I pledge to buy local, eat local, and support local businesses that support me and my community. This is, once again, Engineer May Alendeska reminding you that the world awaits to see your journey, the market awaits to know your products. Thank you so much, guys, for bearing with me this morning. Thank you so much for 
always tuning in every Monday at 10 to 11 a.m. from January up to now August. So we've been airing for three months now. And I'm sad to announce to you that this will be my last uh, series, uh, last episode for this series. And I will be temporarily signing off offline for Monday Matters with me. But hoping to see you guys once again. This is only temporary. And we're going to talk about all things that matter again soonest. Hopefully soonest. So once again, thank you. Thank you so much for always subaybayan, pag subaybay sa amuadiri for Monday Matters with me. Until next Monday or Monday. So see you. Thank you.